and someone handed me a study done by the Central Philadelphia Development Corporation. I have no idea who did it. Uh, I don't know if I ever talked to any person in person from the Central Philadelphia Development Corporation, but it sketched out a vision for the Avenue of the Arts. Um, and I took a look at that and I thought, my God, this could be the catalyst for bringing back downtown Philadelphia. It was clear to me that in addition to getting the fiscal house in order of the city, which was obviously job one, job two was giving people a reason to believe that the city could be a special place again. And I thought the Avenue of the Arts fit it to a T. Originally, our plan for the Avenue had a symphony hall up where it is now, and then a little further down between Pine and Lombard, a performing arts center. They said, no, that's not gonna work. You've gotta get them together. The, the orchestra's gotta be the linchpin of the performing arts center. And of course, they were right. And then secondarily, um, at one key point, Raphael Vignoli went to Rass and said, for $200 million, I can build you a very good performing arts center. For $250 million, I can build you a great performing arts center. And Bill and Midge and Bill Hankowski came to see me and said, what do you think? And Bill Rouse's argument was, this is a once in a generation, maybe once in a lifetime project. If we're gonna do it, we ought to do it really well. And I agreed, it, it made the fundraising mountain a lot harder to climb, but it was worth it. And, and what we created was a spectacular building. And when we announced the project, I said, sometime in the future, I said, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, I wanna be able to look down the avenue and at 10.30 and see 10,000 people coming out of the different theaters, going into the restaurants, et cetera. And it happens every week.